Hey everyone, alright, so let's talk about the upcoming Death Note remake that uh, Adam Wingard is helming. Adam Wingard, of course, director of The Guest. Um, this is a film I am very much looking forward to, you know, I've been following it for quite a while. And just for the last couple of weeks, probably the last month, you know, just waiting to hear some news on it because i heard that they were starting production at the end of june you know and they're gonna shoot through the summer so i was very pleased um not yesterday but the day before to uh find this article from collider which uh offered a huge update on the status of the film it uh, confirmed that production had indeed started and the uh, you know cameras are rolling and they're filming currently in canada in vancouver the plan is to film both in canada and in the us and along with that um offered some updates on casting because of course it was announced initially uh maybe about a year ago if not more um that Nat Wolf was going to be playing the lead in in the film, uh, going to be playing Light, and then of course we got the announcement that Margaret Qualley, um, Andy McDowell's daughter, who of course was recently in uh, The Nice Guys, she was going to be playing, assumedly uh, Misa. Um, we've had an update and. Uh, there have been some name changes. It was, if you look on some of the discussion boards, like on Internet Movie Database, there was some um, rumours that character names might be changed, and it has happened, you know, because of course we haven't got a Japanese cast. This is a US remake, so Light uh, still uh, got the same first name but they've changed Yagami so it's Light Turner now whereas it was Light Yagami in the original source material uh, so Light Turner you know it's fine I mean y you know in fairness going with Yagami would it would have been strange to see like a western guy with a Japanese so uh, that, that would have that would have seemed strange so you can understand you know uh, but obviously, he'd probably be just referred to as Light throughout the most of the movie. So it'll probably be pretty. It's pretty minor. Um, Margaret Qualley. There's been a substantial name change for her character because, assumedly, yes, she was going to be playing Misa, but her character name is Mia Sutton. So a big change, uh, but again, you know, in substance. We're assuming that it's going to be the same. It's going to be. It's basically Misa. But yeah, so Mia Sutton. Um, I don't know. Could Misa have worked, do you think, for a Western, Western girl? I don't know. I, I, I could have seen it working myself. But hey, Mia Sutton again. It's fine, uh, but uh, she'll be essentially the same character, we think. Um, but yeah, let's talk about those two. I mean, I've heard people, a lot of people haven't been very happy with the casting of Nat Wolf. Uh, me, personally, I've never really seen anything he's done, so I'm remaining completely neutral. Uh, so I'm going in there, you know, I'll just wait and see. You know, I'll, I'll be as fair as I can. But that's the thing. Let's just wait and see how he does. Because, hey, he could knock it out the park for all we know. He could have some... I mean, this is the thing about Adam Wingard. What he did with the guest was brilliant. And um, that was that's the only thing I've seen of Adam Wingard. Because, obviously, he made Your Next. That was a film that I saw the trailer and I thought, I was having absolutely none of it. So I never saw your next. But went and saw the guest. And my god. What a surprise that film was. Because I went into that completely cold. Didn't I hadn't looked into it. 
I mean, I was just completely blown away by the guest. What he did with that was absolutely fantastic. So after seeing that, I have complete and utter faith in Adam Wingard. He knows what he's doing. Alright, so, hey, if he sees fit to have Nat Wolf playing light, I won't argue. I, I'm just happy to go in there and wait and see what happens. Margaret Qualley. Now, let's talk about her because she was really good in the nice guys. And after seeing her in that, after seeing her in that I, I am feeling pretty confident. I think she's going to be really good in, in this. And playing that type of role as well, because of course Misa in the original source material, she's a model, isn't she? And again, great casting here, because Margaret Qualley is absolutely stunning. You know, so her as a model, it's it's ideal casting. Like I say, she's a beautiful girl, but again as well, she's got really she's. She did a really solid acting performance in The Nice Guys. So if she brings that to this, we should have no problem at all. Um, now let's get on to the... Hmm. Okay, let's talk about L Because L is a very interesting one. Um, for many people, you know, many fans of Death Note, he's their favourite character. He's their guy. Um, obviously a lot, he's got a, he's got a very, um, he's very popular with the, uh, female audiences as well, um, understandably so, he's very nice, um, and the thing about, it, the, 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 I mean, Light's handsome, but uh, the big difference between Light and L is L isn't evil, you know, um, so yeah, L is a very popular character. And, obviously, he's got, yes, he's got a very distinct personality, uh, you know, very distinct characteristics, but also his appearance as well, you know, he's one of, as is very common in manga and anime, you know, the characters have a very distinct look. And this is the thing with L, you know. He's got a look and that you'd expect them to keep, you know, that you'd expect them to stick to. The thing about Kenichi Matsuyama in the Japanese live action, he looked identical. He, like I say, he is L. You're never going to beat Kenichi Matsuyama because, like I say, he just captured the mannerisms, the characteristics, the personality, but he looked like him as well. You know, it was like the took L off the page and just pasted him in, uh, you know. If L existed in live action, yeah, it'd be Kenichi Matsuyama. Um, but the thing here with Adam Wingard's version, I think we're going to have to brace ourselves because... You know, for a lot of fans of anime and manga, they often get very protective over the characters. Because, like I say, the characters have very distinct looks. And when we see, like, a live-action adaptation in most instances, we want to see the actors look as much like the character they're portraying as possible. That's the thing about the Rurouni Kenshin live-action trilogy. All the actors looked identical. The way the the way they took the characters from the page and they made and transfer you know translated it to live action, it was fantastic. Takaru Sato playing Kenshin looked identical. He looked exactly right. You know, he, it exactly as you'd want him to look. Uh, Ryan Osuke Kamiki as Sojiro looked exactly as he's as you'd expect him to look. Tatsuya Fujiwara as Shishio looked fantastic, you know. Um, but I think we're going to have to brace ourselves here because 
<laughs> I mean, Nat Wolf obviously doesn't look much like um, light in the original source material. That's the thing about when Tatsuya Fujiwara played light in Death Note. He did, there was a strong resemblance there, I thought. But of course, Kenichi Matsuyama and L, that's a whole other level. I mean, he was L. Um, Margaret Qualley as Misa, I mean, Margaret Qualley has dark hair and I think she's playing it that way. Obviously, Misa in the original anime is blonde. But this isn't really a big diff. I mean, in the Japanese live action, the actress playing me saying that, she did, she played the part with dark hair, it was fine, it's, it's pretty mine, um, but of course, the, the main thing about me, I mean, it's a very shallow thing to say, but Misa, she's, she needs to be attractive, because obviously she's a model, you know, and I, Margaret Qualley's got that down, but I think as well, we're fortunate enough, not only is she stunning, which she is, but she's, She's got some really uh, solid acting ability there, I think, to go with it. But yeah, L. Keith Stanfield from Straight Outta Compton. This is interesting. This really is. Because, um, obviously, Keith Stanfield, Af African American. Um, hmm. I don't, I don't know. I mean, obviously, the reaction to this, as you probably expect, has been mixed. Um, I don't know what to make of this, because I have a lot of love for L, you know, and like I say, a lot of that is thanks to Kenichi Matsuyama, um, and so of course I'm very attached to that character, and I was hoping that we'd get a pretty accurate, or pretty faithful representation, obviously it's not going down that way, certainly in terms of appearance, um now this is the thing i've got to be careful not to be to sound hypocritically because i'm someone who's um who's gotten very frustrated with people who have complained about hollywood whitewashing like i said i mean i've talked about wanting to do a, an adaptation of Samurai X Trust and Betrayal in live action with Luke Ward Wilkinson playing Kenshin, you know, um, so you'd have a British actor playing a Japanese character, so hey, a lot of people could turn around and, see, and accuse, you know, criticise me. Now, surely the casting of Keith Stanfield in this role is no different to that. Um, and I am, I've managed to remain, I mean, yeah, initially it was a bit of a shock because we'd heard that Keith Stanfield was joining the cast, but it, it, when it was initially announced, they didn't say what role he was going to play. Now, initially I thought that he was going to be playing one of the detectives working on the case who would be working with L. Um... But I didn't expect this. Now, Adam Wingard, I remember he was uh, doing a Q&A on Twitter a couple of, uh, I think it was couple, maybe two months ago. And one thing he said was, please don't ask about who's playing L. So what that says to me is Adam Wingard has had Keith Stanfield in mind for this role for quite some time. But obviously, a black actor playing L you know, yeah, there might be some backlash of it. So Adam Wingard probably just didn't want the headache of having to deal with the backlash. Now, obviously, I have complete and utter faith in Adam Wingard. And if he wants to go with Keith Stanfield... Adam Wingard knows what he's doing. So if he wants Keith Stanfield, there's, there, is so, there must be something there. Now, Keith Stanfield, obviously, I'm not really familiar with. For all I know, Keith Stanfield could be a huge fan of the Death Note source material, in which case he would have a great appreciation for the character of L. Now, it, it'll be interesting to see what they do with the appearance. I mean, would they, obviously, yes, we've got an African-American actor playing the role, but what are they going to do with that? Like L, he has a very distinct hairstyle, you know, the tussled black hair. Will he be doing that? I don't know. Obviously, the eyes 
uh, Elwa, you know, El has those dark eyes, and obviously the uh, the rings around his eyes. Will they be doing that? Um, clothes, you know, the trademark uh, white long sleeve top and jeans. Will they be doing that? And obviously bare feet. Will they be doing that? So I don't know. Like I say, we can only wait and see. But obviously. I don't know what Keith Sanfield's abilities are as an actor, but that's what it's all about ultimately. I mean, yeah, if you can, if you can recreate the character's appearances uh, accurately and faithfully in li and translate that over to live action, that's great. But obviously, what matters is is the performance. And hey, you know, again, it's. I've said it, I don't know how many times I've said it in the video, but we're just going to have to wait and see. I mean, like I say, like Nat Wolf with light, Keith Stanfield could absolutely knock this out of the park. I mean, if he had the, could get the mannerisms of L down, that would be something, you know. That would be absolutely fine. That'd, I think that would make a lot of people happy, you know, and would um, put a stop to any criticism or debate so let's wait and see and the thing is the thing is we can afford to get experimental with this and you know we can afford or Adam Wingard can afford to go and do his own thing because we have had the definitive portrayal of L in a live action film through Kenichi Matsuyama he's done it He's aced it. You're never going to get any better than that. And like I say, the definitive portrayal in both the personality of L and also the appearance. Like I say, Kenichi Matsuyama was L taken right out of the source material and put on screen. So we've had the definitive L. So we can, if Keith Stanfield and Adam Wingard want to take this character in a completely new direction... There's no loss, because we've already got the definitive L. If we want to see L as he should be, from the source material, let, we, can go and watch Kenichi Matsu, we can go and watch Kenichi Matsuyama. We've got that. So let's, if they want to do something different with it, fine. There's no harm done. And what they, if they do something new and different with it, that'll be great in its own right, I'm sure. You know... So, hey, that's what doing adaptations are all about, doing your own thing. Now, I would like to discuss, uh, this is pure conjecture on my part, uh, because obviously I don't know uh, what elements they're taking, they're going to include from the original source material. Like, um, you know, I, I, I've heard a... I mean, I'm pretty sure this is going to be a live action film, but I'm not sure whether one report said it might be a TV show, but I'm pretty sure that's wrong. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a live action. But the question is, are they splitting it up into maybe a two-parter or a trilogy? Obviously, the Japanese live action was a two-parter, Death Note and Death Note The Last Name. Will they be doing the same with this? Or, because obviously it is being released to Netflix, which is fantastic. Uh, would they do it as like one long, like a Gettysburg length of a film, like more than four hours long? I, don't, I mean, obviously, probably not, but because obviously the cover, the Death Note story goes over a long period of time uh, in the anime. So I don't know how much they'd cover and, you know, or how much they'd condense it. Because in the Japanese live action, they condensed it to the point where you only had L near never made an appearance. Now, what I'm saying here is what I would mark out for is if we got L and the had the death of l and then the film continued after that and you like to say we jumped forward a couple of years where light becomes the second l and then if near showed up right and stay with me 
because obviously, yeah, they're not going to be particular. They're not staying particularly faithful to L in terms of appearance. But what would you do if Nia showed up and he looked exactly like he does from the source material? Now that for me would more than make up for it, because yeah. L has been done definitively by Kenichi Matsuyama in live action. Nia, however, has not. I mean, I know they had the character in live action in the Japanese TV show they did. Uh, that was either last year or the year before. Um, but that wasn't particularly faithful. Like, I think they made the mistake of... I consider it to be a mistake... He had the character played by a female. Now that's not me being sexist, right? Don't misunderstand me here. Nia is male, all right. So no, there's no discussion in the in the source material. Nia is male. End of. That's not me being sexist. Nia is a male. If 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 the character was female, absolutely. Have it played by, a, uh, yeah, get an actress in to play the part. But that kind of just spoiled it, you know. Um, but I mean, like I say, if, if Light was a female, absolutely get, a, get an actress in to play that part. But it's not so done. Now, so we still need to see Nia... A, a definitive portrayal of that character in live action this could be an opportunity to do it and let me tell you i would i would mark out if nia showed up and he looked exactly like he does in the source material now obviously the question is who would you get to play Nia because uh, if I remember rightly is Nia about 13 or 14 so he would need a young actor and I was thinking uh, someone like Ty Simpkins to play the role could work um, and of you know just make him up to look but I think he'd be the right age so if you could just make him up to look like you know uh, either Put, dye the hair or put a, put a wig on or a, a put a extensions in I don't know whatever you'd want to do because obviously you, you've got the very very white hair um, you probably need the lenses in as well because I think much like L Nia has very dark eyes um, yeah and of course you know that uh, trademark uh, long sleeve shirt as well that he has in uh, the the uh, is he, does he wear pyjamas or is it, it's something I've never been completely sure, either way, you know, I would completely, I'd just lose it if Nia showed up and he looked exactly like he does in the source material, um, that, I hope that happens, like I say, I don't know, I don't know anything. And like I say, even though we've had some new casting announcements, because uh, Keith Stanfield wasn't the only one, um, Shay Wingen from uh, Boardwalk Empire and also from Fast and Furious, he's going to be in uh, this movie, uh, The New Death Note. He's going to be playing a character called James Turner. Now, if I'm right, I think he'll be playing Light's father. So that'll be good. Like I say, uh, Shay Wingen, he played a cop in Fast and Furious. Uh, if he's playing, like, obviously, Light's father is the. Uh, in charge of the Kira investigation. Um, so if he's playing that in this, I think we're going to be in uh, absolutely fine. So I'm happy with that. Shea Wingham playing J James Turner. Again, another name change there. You'll note from the original source material. But of course, you've got a US actor playing the character. So kind of you had to do it. Uh, but again, it's it's nothing major. Um, yeah, I think uh, Shea Wingham will be really good. Really happy with that. Uh, now, the final casting announcement that was included in the Collider article was uh, Paul Nakuchi, um, a Japanese-American actor. 
uh, American born of Japanese descent um, he's going to be playing Watari now I like the way they've done that they've got a Japanese actor so at least they can keep that character name the same so it's good so we carried the character uh, we carried the character name of L over because that's fine um, uh, and Watari because I mean that would be interesting you know what would you change that to I don't know um, but yeah, Paul Nakuchi, I think he's primarily a voice actor, so to see him in live action, that'll be, um, yeah, so I've got a Japanese actor in to play that role, so that's good. Uh, hey, I'm sure he'll do fine, from what I've uh, seen, he's, I think he'll be absolutely fine, honestly, uh, but you'll note... So there are only five names that have been announced. Still don't know who... Like I say, we don't know who's going to be doing uh, the Shinigami. Uh, I mean, we don't know how they're going to be doing them. Are they going to CGI them and bring voice actors in? Or would we have motion capture? Um, that would be interesting. So obviously we've got Ryuk and we've got Rem. Um, Rem was always my favourite of the Shinigami. So it would be nice to see him back. Again, really tragic character. Uh, Shinigami who threw his life away because he fell in love with a human. It's that's Shakespearean. That it's fantastic. Um, yeah, great character. So uh, like, but that's one thing I'm looking forward to seeing in this. I'm looking forward to seeing how good the Shinigami looks. So, because, like I say, we've got the when we did, had the um, Japanese live action. Of course, the Shinigami looked very much like uh, accurate to the source material, but of course, uh, it's very dated. You know, it looks very CGI. It looked well, it's like a, very cartoonish. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see um, how they sharpen them up. You know, obviously, because it's ten years later, two thousand and six, the live action Japanese version was done. So ten years later, so it'll be really interesting to see how they do the Shinigami. I hope they look good. I hope they really do. Um, because and again, because in the Japanese live action, the, the Shinigami got a lot of screen time. So if they're gonna do in this, you know, it'll be it's very important to make sure to look obviously look faithful to the source material, but look pristine, you know. Well, because that's the thing now, you know, audience is getting more and more critical of CGI now. You know, standards have really um, got such high standards now. CGI it has to look as sharp and as crisp as they can get it um, but no it'll be interesting to see who they get to do the Shinigami um, like I say oh god I mean it's just my speculation but I would love it if Nia showed up that would be that would make it for me and then, like I say if he looked like he should that would that would really make it but like I say, I'm just going into it. I am excited for this. Like I say, next year is looking very, very, very good. Like I say, got um, Death Note. With any luck, we might have Highlander if that gets going. Uh, Fast and Furious 8 and Star Wars Episode 8. And of course, Tom Holland as Spider-Man in his... Um, He's getting his own movie, so it's so much to look forward to next year, but I'm glad that Death Note is going is gonna to be released through Netflix, you know, because at least you can just chill at home, you know, get some takeaway and just enjoy it. And one thing Adam Wingard said, I'm not sure why he said it, but I think it might have been in the Q&A, you know, since he's... Since Netflix picked the movie up, you know, he said he's feeling that he's got a lot more creative freedom 
And after seeing what he did with the guest, it's very apparent that Adam Wingard has his own way of doing things. So I think the uh, creative freedom that Netflix have allowed him with this, I think it's it's only going to lead to good things. Um, heard a rumour as well that it's in all likelihood the film is going to be R-rated. Um, and I mean, I like I say, I, at least I'm glad it won't be watered down. You know, if it needs to be R rated, give it the R rating. Um, of course, the Japanese live action was PG thirteen, if I remember rightly, and that's all that needed to be. But in this version, if they need the R rating, absolutely. Um, yeah, but it'll be so interesting to see. Uh, what elements they've taken from the original source material and what elements they've axed, you know. Like I, I don't know how, you know, how how condensed is it going to be? How, I don't know, I mean, like I say, are they doing, I think they might just be doing one film. I don't know if it's going to be a two-parter. I mean, I just, I'm so looking forward to seeing what they're going to do with it. And one thing I know for sure, it'll look stunning because the guest was a beautiful looking film. Uh, so I've got high hopes for like the, um, certainly the, the visual aspect of the film. Also, I remember Adam Wingard saying, I think this might have been in the Q&A he did on Twitter as well, you know. He's hoping that this movie Death Note will have the uh, best soundtrack of the year and if the guest is anything to go by it's going to have a pretty awesome soundtrack so I'm pretty psyched for that um, but my god I just can't wait to see this you know it's going to be I think this will be I think this is going to surprise a lot of people and it'll be nice because um, hopefully it will be a, a way of introducing the film, the story to a wider audience of course I think that is Adam Wingard's intention you know that's what he's hoping to do and because it, it's such a fantastic story the Death Note story it, it, and it's a really good thriller as well you know um, but yeah, that, sorry, that pretty much brings this to a close. Just wanted to offer an update and just share my thoughts on it. But in terms of the casting announcements, I'm I'm feeling I'm feeling good. I'm just I'm gonna remain optimistic and just go in there with an open mind and just hey, let's just get a good movie, man. You know, I mean, if you want to do your own thing with it, fine. But I, I have complete not a faith in Adam Wingard, and I think it's this is going to be good. Trust me, I, I think we're in for a treat. Uh, but yeah, let's hey, let's just get it in the can. I I heard that the filming through the summer, and I think maybe up until the thirtieth, the thirtieth of August might be when the wrap. So should be on track to come out you know maybe early next year so maybe kind of like the time that the sequel the crouching tiger hidden dragon came out you know that was direct to netflix came out i think it was like february this year so if we could follow a similar time frame for this it'd be ideal yeah but hey let's just watch this space hopefully we'll be getting more news from the uh regarding the death note production hopefully we might start to see some uh, stills from the set that'd be good um it'd be really good but yeah i'm psyched for this and uh, i just wanted to talk about it you know i hope you guys found this interesting sorry i've rambled on but uh and, and hey, feel free to comment your thoughts on this, you know, I'd lo love to know what you guys think about it, and if you guys are looking forward to it, you know. Uh, but yeah, thanks for sticking with me, and I uh, hope you found this uh, interesting, and I shall see you all next time. Thank you, everyone. <laughs>